This was something that has never been seen before. It was peaking at 3.8 uh, terabits per second. And, um, you know, whether or not it had anything to do with the CUP's vulnerability, allowing suddenly all these servers on the internet to very easily be used uh, to, ger to generate traffic without even having to take them over. Is this related? It's unclear, but for 60 seconds, the internet saw one of its most intense sustained distributed denial of service attacks ever. And you can see the breakdown of where these packets were coming from. So it looks like a lot of Russian uh, servers, but then also United States, Brazil, uh, and uh, also Spain, randomly. Um, so yeah, interesting to see where the compromised servers were here. But again, you don't necessarily need to compromise a server in order to cause it to create a distributed denial of service attack. And you can see um, the, it looks like the spike is like right about here, where the most sustained traffic actually happened. But um, yeah, largest publicly recorded volumetric uh, distributed denial of service attack. Write it down in your calendar. Never forget. Um, so again, like obviously a pretty massive attack and uh, companies like Cloudflare are set up for this. Like they should be able to handle this. Um, but still, I imagine a lot of strain on those networks as they were attempting to deflect this attack. And again, unclear as to whether or not the CUPS vulnerability had anything to do with this particular firestorm of packets leading to a pretty impressive distributed denial service attack.